application. There we go. Boom. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this evening. We have an incredible guest with us, who's one who's going to give us some amazing information as well as inspiration, and that is none other than uh, the puppeteer, uh, Andre Spencer. First of all, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, man. I appreciate this. Yes, sir. Uh, no problem. Man. This is, this is a pleasure. Yes, sir. The honor is mine, sir. Um, and on behalf of myself, my family, and the viewing audience of the People's Podcast, we want to thank you again. The first question that we have for you, sir, is how did you get into puppets and doing that? Well, puppet, excuse me. I'm sorry. Here, go sit down. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, I, I got two daughters, by the way. So, no, yes, sir. go sit down. I'm serious, though. Um, so, during COVID, uh, you know, we're all in the house, which was, tw it feels like it wasn't that long ago, but what, what, 2020? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're all in the house or whatnot. And my daughter what? finds uh, one of my, uh, I have a Ventrigas doll, the Charlie yeah. McCarthy, and then the, uh, I can't think of his name, Mortimer Sneer. And I got okay. those when I was younger. Sorry, I, I got the Charlie McCarthy doll when I was younger. The Mortimer Sneer doll I ordered because I didn't, I didn't have, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go upstairs now. Okay. That's my youngest one. I apologize. Um, the Mortimer Sneer doll I got one and during COVID. And my oldest daughter, she was she saw something in the puppets and whatever. And I don't know, it just kind of brought up my childhood a little bit. And so I ordered the Mortimer Stir doll. And when I did, I started playing with him. I think I did like one video with him and my, my wife was asleep. So she didn't even know I did the video and she's in the video. Uh, but then I start looking at different uh, uh, puppets on, online, like the soft puppets, uh, something that you like will see with Jim Henson or something like that. And I was oh, yes. like, oh. I said, those are those are pretty neat. So I found this, this uh, store called the Dummy Shop. And I, they had one there that I, I liked. And he was an old guy. And I was raised by my grandparents. So okay. I'm just, I'm old inside. <laughs> just old inside. My wife always tells me I'm old inside. So I knew every old, you know, uh, term or whatever. So I was like, I'm going to get him. So I got him. And I just start doing stuff on YouTube. I didn't have much of a following. And then I start getting on Instagram, sort of picked up a following. Then I, then I had one maid. Her name was Aunt, uh, uh, Annie Popo. And it's the okay. wife <laughs> of Dan. Then most okay. people don't know this. Well, Dan's actually white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And, and Ann is, you know, I got her maid, she's black. Okay. But most people think that Dan's black. Uh, he's 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 black, and so I was telling a buddy of mine, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna say anything right now. I said because they're thinking he's a light skinned black man. You know, I'm gonna leave that because my granddaddy's a black, he's light skinned. Okay, and okay. That that, and then I just start ordering more stuff, and I just really got into it. Okay, honey, go sit down. I want you. Please go. Okay, watch right there. Um. I'm sorry, I'm getting unfocused with dealing with her. Uh, yes, sir. You talk about you talk about the the grandparents. So you got your parents. You got some care. Yeah, my grandparents. So my grandfather he passed away in 2018, and like I said, they raised me. So every little thing that you see him do is basically my grandfather. Every okay. term, every the way he moves, talk. It's just my grandfather. So that's where I got that from. Upstairs. Wonderful. Okay. And people are showing you love. I can't wait to put this on YouTube and let us know what city you all are watching all across the country. Um, what let can we can we be introduced to the first character? Yeah, and let me say this: most people don't know this on, on my um uh, Instagram. I had two Instagrams. I, I think the other one I hadn't been on for like years, and that's with me. I don't even I don't think I know the password to it anymore. But <laughs> this one that I created, not a lot of people know me personally. 
I'm actually a pa assistant pastor in the church. And okay, okay. Don't know that. And so, uh, I, I, as guy said, well, you always put all these church videos up. And I was like, yeah, I'm a I'm an assistant pastor in the church. I was raised in the church. My grandmother uh, was a pastor, you know, ministers and all that. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, most people, they don't, they don't know that. Uh, let me get him. Let me get him. And please forgive me because my voice, I've been uh, actually not feeling too well. No. But this is, David. <laughs> can you see him? I can see him. Uh, Aaliyah, go upstairs, please. Oh, wait, now, please. I want to see my David. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me get him. Stop. Please stop. Go upstairs. Um, how you doing now? My name Dan. Okay, what's going on, Dan? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Hey, Dan, what do you do for fun? Sit around the house all day. Just sit around <laughs> the house. <laughs> yes, sir. And do you like to watch TV, listen to music? What you do? I love my music. I love my oldest. I was listening to some Temptations today. Okay, okay. You can't, you can't go wrong. Yes, sir. And, and uh, Dan, how long you been married? Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. You ask me why I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. Been married too long. Too long? Okay. Um, somewhere in the fit this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. I understand. Well, uh, Dan, is there any particular song that you like from The Temptations? I like Silent Night. Can't get wrong with Silent Night. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, put that on every Christmas. Get me in the mood. Yes, sir. Now, is that is now, Dan? I got a question. Is Silent Night the greatest temptation? I mean, the greatest Christmas song ever. It is. It is. You know, most people like to listen to Nat King Cole. I'm a temptation. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, great. Now, Dan. Uh, and even though you don't want to talk about her, can we meet your wife? Well, I can go get her. She's upstairs. If you give okay. me this, you yeah, back go ahead. We'll, we'll hold it down. We'll hold it down. Okay. We'll hold it down. All right. And thank you. While, while he's going to get the, the wife, I want to thank everybody who continues to like, share, subscribe to the People's Podcast. Um, thank you all very much. Here we go. Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. Um, we are live. He's going to get the other puppet with his wife. Um, here we go. Boom. And speaking of Silent Night, The Temptations version, um, here we go. There we go. It's one of my favorite songs, Five Part Harmony. Uh, you can't go wrong with Eddie Kendricks. Uh, you can't go wrong with uh, Paul Williams. And you can't go wrong with um, uh, who's on the bass? I know Eddie does falsetto. Paul and I want to say blue, 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 and blue with the bass. Boom. Um, thank you, everybody who continues to like, share, subscribe to people's podcast. Our brother uh Andre Spencer has gone upstairs to get uh the second puppet. If you all saw missed the first puppet, he had it and he did a great job with the the father. Now he's gonna get the wife um of Dan, the other puppets here. Um Thank you all very much. Can you hear me? Up? Yeah, I can hear you right now. Okay. You probably heard me upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my kids, man. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask you about that later. I want to ask you know, what advice you give to the, to the uh, future fathers and things like that. Oh, let me see. How you doing, baby? <laughs> How are you doing today, ma'am? Doing good. And what's your name? Annie. Annie Pop Off. Okay. All right, Annie. Uh, yes, ma'am. And Annie, what do you do for fun? I go shopping. Damn okay. Me. And I go shopping, baby. Yeah. All right. And would, would you go shop? What's your favorite thing to buy? 
everything. I love the Dollar Tree, though. <laughs> I came the Dollar Tree. <sighs> you love the Dollar Tree? And um, you like, now we, we met your husband, and we know he likes Temptations and music. Is, do you like to watch movies, music? What's your thing? You know what? I love scary movies. Scary you know, movies? Okay. I love watching that Chucky. Okay. <laughs> You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with Chucky. Is there a particular Chucky that you like? I like them. I like the first and the second one. The, um, okay. the third one okay. The other one's just gotten stupid. Yeah, they did a, oh, the band, what you do? Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't go wrong with the original uh with Charles Lee Ray and uh, I don't play with Charles Lee. They scary. As <laughs> yeah, the Chucky. Old, the old ones is a scary one. Absolutely, they are. Absolutely, they are. Um, okay, and do you like, do you sing? Do, is there any music that you like? Mm, I like some old school music. I'm more of a gospel type, though. Okay, yeah, what kind of gospel do you like? Shirley huh? Caesar. Shirley you Caesar? Like you know what? I take it back every now and then. I listen to the Gap Band. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. And maybe Lil Wilson Pickett a little bit. Lil Wilson Pickett, okay. You can't go wrong with Wilson Pickett in the Gap Band. You know what? So I you was in the bar and Muddy Waters was playing. Okay. We met in a place called The Hole in the Wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Muddy Waters playing. Okay, so y'all, I mean, y'all, I mean, that's your time period. So uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't go wrong with Wilson Pickett. Huh? They don't make music like that no more, baby. Mm -mm. Oh, they don't. They don't. Mm -mm. Now, now I have a question. What um what advice would you give to the young couples who are in love that want to that want to last as long as you and your husband? Just treat him right in the bedroom, baby. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Just make sure he's good in the bedroom and he give you everything you want. <laughs> okay. All right, that's great advice. That's the key. That's the key to a successful marriage. All right, yes. yes. Okay, you can't go wrong with that. Now, um, my next question is: Is that do you like any TV shows or um, out, anything outside of scary movies? Mm, I don't like them programs. You know, my daughter and my friend they watch them stories sometimes. I don't get into those. It, it, it just never ends. That's it. Never I'm a good time person. Good time, safe and son. Love it. All them shows like that. Jeffrey says, <laughs> that's my stuff. Yeah, you can't you can't go wrong with good times, Jefferson. Sanford and Son in the 227. All right, wonderful. Well, I want to thank you very much, ma'am. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting your husband. Now, can I talk to your grandson for a minute? Is it cool if we talk to uh, Mrs. Spencer? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a great job, man. Thank you, man. I try. Now, now, let, now let's get to you. So you, you, um, you said you said you're an assistant pastor. Yeah, uh, at a church here that I actually grew up in, man. That's uh, cool, man. Never thought I would. I don't know. I never thought I would see myself being assistant pastor there. Um, yeah, I didn't. I never saw that. Um. I, I'm I'm been praying about some stuff. So I may be having a church of my own soon. Mm, uh, mm. So me and my wife and we we've been praying about it. You know, people start churches sometime, and you really need to make sure you're supposed to start a church. That's nothing just to be you know playing with. Same with marriage. Um, mm. I I tell young couples, you know, me I'm only thirty three. Okay. Uh, okay. I, we just turned 30 and I got married, uh, uh, 2015 and we had our first, uh, daughter in 2016. Mm. Jumping, don't just jump in a marriage. You, you really need to know. <laughs> I mean, this is a person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. You're making a, a covenant with God, you know, you're saying all this stuff. So just don't be hopping in marriages that, 
You know, if he ain't the one, then he ain't the one. Or she ain't the one, she's not the one. Uh, my wife, I actually, uh, we went to school together. Okay, now, okay. The story is, now I did not, I did not know her. I only saw her one time in school. I happened to be in the front of the office. I wasn't looking at her like that. I mean, she was beautiful, but I wasn't looking at her like that. And she kind of stared me down, looked at me crazy. Well, I didn't realize how crazy she was. A uh, girl would fight, fight anybody. She's actually from Cuba, dude. She came to Cuba when she was seven years old, came from Cuba to the United States when she was seven years old. Mm, mm. Um, but I had came back from Bible college. I went to Bible college in, at, uh, in Columbus, Ohio at World Harvest Bible College. I think it's called Valor Christian College now. But I had went there in 2008. Did okay, okay. Came back. And I, some buddies of mine had called me up and was like, hey, do you want to go to this uh, this party? And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I, 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 I can't do this stuff in the world, man. And I was sitting in my room and I heard this voice. It was like, you need to go. And I'm like, it's got this the devil talking to me. And I heard it again. I'm like, ah, this don't feel right. Okay, maybe I should listen to this. Mm-hmm. So I go and she's there. Mm. And so we looked at each other. That was it. I went another time. She was there. We looked at each other. That was it. When I got home, she had wrote me on Facebook. And okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh. Are, are you there? I'm right here. I'm right here with you. Uh, she wrote me on Facebook asking me, could I pick her up for church? I never talked to her. I never told her I went to church. And I even asked her, I said, how did you know I go to church? She was like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I just, I said, did you ask anybody? She says, no. And she started going to church. And now she got, you know, she went to church. Uh, uh, we went dating. Like I said, I wasn't even looking at her because actually what I didn't know was when she was coming out of abusive relationships. I, I didn't have no idea what was going on. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, uh, so she's, she's, so two years down the road, I, I started looking at her because everybody kept telling me like, Andre, are you going to be talking to her? Do you want her? It was even some guys in the church that was, I guess, trying to date her, but it never happened. And they were asking me like, are you going, are you talking? I was like, I ain't looking at that girl like that. And one Sunday morning, the Lord told me that's my wife. And I just, it's like, I, the blinders was taken off my eyes. And I think, mm-hmm. um, that happened because we she we should have been focused so much on getting her life together first before I be a part of life. That's one thing you don't want to do: is jump into a relationship, uh, somebody coming out of a relationship, and especially mm-hmm. if you, because they're not going to do nothing but start taking that towards you because that's all they know. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. I'm not. I'm not. And I was never used to arguing. You know, my grandmother. I never got yelled at. I got whoopings. You know, I wasn't used to the uh, the screaming in my face, and that was something that she was used to. So mm. I, it was new to her when she would yell at me. I'm kind of just quiet, and I'm talking to her, and she finally just like, come. She's like, okay, you're not arguing back with me. You know, she was used to that. Well, I'm trying to make it short as I can. Uh, uh, so I finally approached her. I said, hey, the Lord told me you my wife. Mm, mm. and it was in the middle of the night and she said don't you ever in your life <laughs> text me or call me again if it's not related to the church and I was mm. just like well, you didn't have me looking stupid now I, maybe this ain't my wife or whatever well I prayed and prayed and prayed finally I think it was around 2012 uh, yeah it was around 2012 she called me and we met and she told me, you know, I know you're my husband. I know I'm supposed to be with you, but I'm not really ready for a relationship. And I said, that's fine. That's fine. And we didn't jump right into it, but, you know, we married, got two girls. I got my oldest is uh, six and my Beautiful. youngest one that was this, this uh, reminds me of myself <laughs> that I have to talk to like again sometimes. She's four. Mm. She don't. She makes me forget she's four years old, but she's four because she's too grown in the mind. That's how I was when I was younger because I was around older folk all the time. But 
Yeah, and she, like I said, she came from Cuba. Her, her family, her mother, her mother passed in 2019. And mm -hmm. uh, her stepdad and her sister, so her stepdad and her sister and uh, her nephew is the only ones over here. So all her mm -hmm. family is still in Cuba. So, you know, a lot of stuff they show us on the news, we know what's really going on over there. And because uh, mm -hmm. we're talking to her grandmother and stuff. And, so, and I don't know a lick of Spanish. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know none of it. So. Okay, well, Mr. Spencer, I got a question for you. And thank everybody who continues to uh, watch and, and show love to people's podcasts. Okay, so my next question for you is, so I've interviewed great couples on the show. Do you think that you and your wife would allow me the honor of interviewing you all on the show so we can hear y'all love story together? Most definitely, man. I would love that. I love telling people, you know, how we've met. And even when, you know... I'm telling you, everything that's been from the, when we met, to the marriage, I mean, to, from we met, to the wedding, to, you know, all, everything, it's been a blessing, man. If I tell you a story about how, which I probably should save it for later on the thing, but about how I got the wedding ring, you, you'd be like, no, this is, yeah, this is how I got it. Yeah, we definitely want to uh, tease that to the people so they can come back and watch, uh, watch you uh your love story is you and your wife man that sounds beautiful yeah and i uh, she's a good woman man she there's things that qualities that if i had now this is why i know we're supposed to be together because there's certain things i wouldn't have right now man if it went for her and the same way we're you know together you know i have a cleaning business mm. I don't know. <laughs> when it comes to businesses and running uh like financial I, i'm not good She's the boss at it. She's the boss lady. I just help mm -hmm. make money. She's the she. I tell everybody, talk to the boss lady. I don't know. You just gotta ask her. Like if my grandmother calls me or my mom, like call Liz. You know, talk to her and whatever she say. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, she's uh, actually. Uh, I'll save. It. I'll save it for for later. I'm talking too much. Okay. No. 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 He's not. Listen. So people, so of course everybody's gonna want to know when, when I'll uh, message you offline so we can make sure our dates align so we can bring you back before New Year's because we got to hear this love story. Uh, we got one more question for you, sir. We have multiple questions, but we have one more question for you on this episode. Um, how can people follow you and find you on social media? Oh, okay. So I'm on Instagram. I now TikTok. I am still learning how to work that. I don't. It's very hard for me to work. I don't. It's just. It's weird. So I'm on there. But it's under the uh, 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 the pop offs and friends, and I think it's actually just under the pop offs on Instagram and TikTok. So it's just the pop offs. Uh, me personally, I have an Instagram page, but like I said, I had been on that thing for years, so I wouldn't even know how to get. I have to go find a password to get on there. But I have been put so much time into doing these, trying to do these skits and with these puppets and stuff. So, and you know, um, I. I don't like to get into talk about race and stuff like that, but you know, you don't see a lot of black puppets. And so I'm like, man, you don't see this stuff, you know, with the, the church and, you know, the shouting and all. I said, we don't see it. So I was like, I, I kind of want to bring that, you know, and so I, and I can tell that people like that stuff, you know, <laughs> they like that stuff. And um, I'm going to try to do uh, a bit more skits with me uh, when the, before the year's out. Excellent. And we look forward to supporting you. I want to thank everybody for watching. And I want to thank you again, Mr. Uh, Andre Spencer. Um, we're going to talk offline so we can uh, get the dates confirmed so we can hear this beautiful love story of about what is some of the driving force behind the man with the puppets. You know what I'm saying? So we thank you. Uh, is your page, your Instagram page is cool. That's what made me reach out to you. Uh, keep up the work, man. It's good to see a strong husband, strong father, guy fear man. Uh, let's make sure we support uh, Mr. Andre Spencer. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. And thank you all for watching. So.